Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. Here we are. Uh, I guess this is the first running with Randy. The first running with Randy. Uh, yeah, I guess it is. Uh, so, as you may know, so what the show's all about, okay? We're just going to uh, chat as I run. It's more probably gonna have to do with running and just kind of my philosophy on running and just kind of my thoughts about running. Uh, so if you're into running and you're not a professional, you're just an amateur that likes to just get out in the neighborhoods and stretch your legs, you probably will like this show. Pay attention if that's you. Uh, so, I had a half marathon uh, scheduled for February 13th, uh, and it was canceled last week, Tuesday of last week, and I've been kind of bummed ever since then because I've been kind of in the training, I've been in training mode, and uh, so it took me several days uh, to you know, get my thoughts together of kind of, now where do I go now? And uh, here we are. Welcome to Off Season with Randy. And what is that, Randy? What is that? So, uh, I couldn't really focus on a whole lot during my training block because I was focused on that training. I was focused on that training. But now we can do this running with Randy because it's just very easy runs, just getting out and stretching out the legs and staying connected to running. Not a whole lot of expectations. I've got a mile, a, mile, a weekly mileage that I wanna hit and uh, that's about it. We're not doing any fast work. We're not doing any, anything like that. We're just getting out in this off season and enjoying running. Just enjoying running for what it is. I uh, started running uh, in April of last year and ran, let's see, I'll take you through it. Uh, okay, we're three miles in. That was a just easy nine minute mile. But uh, so I started out in April, maybe it was April, February, March, April of last year and uh, 2019. And I wanted to uh, run a marathon. I know that's not typically how you do it, but I just started training for a marathon because I was like, hey, if I can run a marathon, if I can actually do it, then all the other runs, all the other races that I'm wanting to do are gonna be shorter than that. So I have confidence I can do them too. So why not just take out the Goliath? Why not take out the big boy at the beginning? So I started training and uh, I ran, I think my first 5K was uh, tower to tower, uh, a 5K, sprinkled in a couple 5Ks, never ran a half marathon. So my first half marathon was uh, Hospital Hill. Uh, yeah, I know. So any of you runners are probably shaking your head right now if you ever ran Hospital Hill, because that's right. The name uh, represents the course. Hill, lots of hills, y'all. Probably not the best, uh, probably not the best race to start your half marathon on. But anyway, I ran the hospital hill, okay? So then I started training, kept training. Then I ran the marathon, uh, Casey Marathon last year. Okay, fine, everything went well. Uh, and then I ran Longview Half Marathon at the end, November 2019. Okay, fine. 
everything's going well my first year running and then bam COVID hits right I had rock the parkway planned uh, a half marathon oh my phone running at the same time uh, rock the parkway plan bam COVID hit yep COVID got rock the parkway so then I decided okay if I can't run in uh, what is that April I'll run Mesa uh, 2020 no 2021 yeah I'll run Mesa uh, in Phoenix, Arizona. I mean, COVID should be done by February 2021, right? No, bam, COVID got M Mesa. So here I am in the off season. And uh, we'll just have to, like everything y'all, we'll just have to make the best of it. I've had a year of racing, 2019, raced from, you know, April to, the end of November, probably about five, five Ks, two half marathons and a marathon. And uh, then in 2020, uh, races were canceled. Didn't race at all in 2020 because of COVID, COVID got it. Uh, so what have I learned over my first year two years of running uh probably the first thing uh that uh, running is a marathon and not a sprint and i think literally you're probably like what do you mean by that randy i get that duh but uh when i first started running i thought you always just had to run as fast as you could all the time right I didn't realize that there were various speeds to running and different reasons to run various distances and speeds. I thought it was, you just put on your shoes and you just try to run as fast as you can every time. And I did that for the first three to four months of the training and I was pooping out guys. I was uh, wanting to stop. I didn't get injured, I haven't been injured yet, which is great. But training and just running casually doesn't always mean that you have to do your hardest every time. All right, five miles, 9.15 pace. We got an eight miler today. Uh, so that probably be my biggest learning and hopefully maybe something that might be able to help you so you don't always have to go out and run your fastest every time just go out put on your shoes i think an easy way to do it is just get a plan i know there's a, some plans like couch to 5k but literally just alternate back and forth between walking and running don't uh Get down on yourself because you're not running fast or you can't run as long as you would like just uh just put one foot in front of the other literally one foot in front of the other uh, and uh over time your fitness and your confidence and your knowledge of running would just build I think the second thing I would say is just enjoy the beauty of your runs. Enjoy the beauty, right? Just enjoy the beauty of your runs. Enjoy the beauty. That's the second one I would say. Just enjoy getting out and running. Don't focus so much on how fast you're running don't, fa don't uh, focus on if people are faster than you. Just enjoy your run. Just enjoy the beauty of your run. That'd be my second thing. Don't focus on all the metrics. Don't focus on 
all the the heart rate and all that just get out and run and probably the last thing i would say that i've learned so far is man it's hard to dress for runs uh they always say that you should dress for a run like it's 15 to 20 degrees warmer meaning it's like 45 right now and i'm hot i've already taken off gloves and uh I've only got really two thin layers on, but I'm hot just running in this. I struggle with the dressing. Uh, I think I always dress too warm because I don't like to be cold. Uh, so I dress too warm and then I have to take things off as I go along. Well, thanks for running with Randy. If you're looking to uh, have some running buddies, if you need some running buddies, or you just need some kudos, some thumbs up, join the MWA Run Club on Strava. Would love to have you join us. It's uh, just a great place to uh, cheer each other on and uh, help each other get out the door and put one foot in front of the other. So until the next run, you guys get out and be awesome.